Um, it's been quite a while since I last did a video, so I thought I would do one now, kind of just to catch up on what's changed since the last one. I think my last one might have been a Q and A, and then I did one just before I went on holiday, which was September. So I really have been slacking. Um, me and Dom will be doing a video together as soon as we can. We're just kind of trying to think of some ideas. We already have one idea, which was um, we said as a joke in the video that we'd have a dance off, but we're actually thinking of doing it now. So possibly watch out for that one. Also, my hair has changed. It is now turquoisey, greeny blue. I dyed it back in November, I think. Um, it was kind of a disaster at first. Um, I was going from black to blonde to this. And yeah, it took a lot of doing, but I, I, I've been doing my own hair at home for six or seven years now. Um, I've also been recollecting the um, like Xbox 360 games because um, they're kind of going up in price again now because of backwards compatibility. So I'm kind of trying to get them while they're still like fairly low priced, but like I've got Gears of War, I've started Mass Effect, I've got uh, the first Bioshock, um, Assassin's Creed 2 I was playing through, and Halo Reach, which actually still had 8,000 people on the online servers. I thought that was amazing. I was so happy about that. But Halo Reach is one of my favourite Halo games. And then I've got Deus Ex um, Human Revolution, but I haven't played that one yet. Um, but yeah, so that you can get them for as cheap as like £1, but then the Call of Duty ones that are now backwards compatible have gone all the way up to £12, but it's still, it's still a good price. I've like rearranged my setup now. It was kind of, I just had one desk, but I'll do a little walkthrough video, maybe somewhere in this video. I also managed to get the um, dishon uh, dishonoured Funko of Emily. I start college in September. Um, I'm going to be doing creative media, <coughs> which is uh, game design, like game sort of narrative writing, uh, journalism, and other bits of media. So I'm quite looking forward to that. For the social aspect and the learning aspect because I don't tend to get out in groups of friends very often so it will be nice to attempt to make some new friends. I have got Infinite Warfare. I always said that I wasn't going to but it went on sale pretty quickly during the Christmas period and I was just like Do you know what I might as well get it. Infinite Warfare for me hasn't captured me the way that Black Ops 3 has. I'm enjoying the campaign but um, I don't know the, the multiplayer is kind of a bit repetitive for me. Whereas Black Ops, I really do enjoy their map packs and the, I don't know, it's just not as repetitive as Infinite Warfare, but that's, that's an opinion of my own. Don't fight about it because I get a lot of stress about Call of Duty whenever I upload a Call of Duty picture, talk about Call of Duty, I get bombarded with people calling me a scrub or inboxes saying, why are you playing that? piece of SHIT and things like that <laughs> but it's just because I want to it's my that's I want to play it so why can't I um, I'm still heavily into my RPGs open world and things like that and um, that is my thing but I do like to play multiplayer sometimes it kind of it's kind of a stress reliever I like just getting in and knowing that there's other people there and I'm annoying them because I'm killing them in the game there's no reflection on who I am as a person. I'm not an angry person in that sense. But that's what gaming does for me. It kind of is, it is a bit of an escape. And I know that's mega cheesy, but that's that's how I work. Um, since my last video, I've also got an Xbox One. I did say in my video that I was going to hopefully get an Xbox One. 
and I have now and I've been playing The Witcher on that and I've completed the Halo 5 campaign and it just made me love Halo even more. I have been asked to do a Dishonored 2 playthrough on YouTube and a Fallout playthrough. I'm not going to do a Fallout playthrough, that was something you will never see from me and it's unlikely you'll see a Dishonored playthrough. Um, they are heavy games and unless you have the time, the patience and are really good at games, it's not something that it's gonna it's not gonna be enjoyable for me or you guys. Cause <clears throat> I can't play and talk at the same time and I'm not gonna enjoy it. Whereas if I'm on my own, I'm in a game, I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun and I'm doing my own thing. So that's the answer to will you do playthroughs? Um I have been asked if I will do Twitch again. I don't want to do Twitch. It's pretty much the same reason as why I won't do YouTube playthroughs because it's it's quite demanding. I'm expected to do it at a certain time. People are going to be asking why I am if I'm not doing it. And because I have a child and a home life where I have to, I'm the one who does the cooking and the cleaning and things like that. I can't dedicate my time to doing Twitch or playthrough videos. So there are your two answers that I, I get asked frequently. We really appreciate all the support you give us daily and all of my Instagram followers, you, you really are helping me get to where I want to be. And <coughs> I can't thank you enough for that. And the amount of views we get on our website, it's just, it's, it's really overwhelming for us. We didn't expect this. And we really hope that this just continues to flourish over the next year or two. We will do our best and any indie Steam games you want me to play, just request them. If I don't do them, I don't do them. If I do, then bonus for you. You get to watch me perhaps poop myself a scary jump scare game or get all flustered over an annoying game like you have 10 seconds. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling and I'm going to be here forever. So I'm just going to stop and and I will catch you in the next videos. Thank you for watching. Love you so much.